I'm going to use the handheld mic because last time, yes, last Sunday when we did baptisms, I was spiking the mic every single time. I'm slightly excited and slightly passionate. And so I saw the video afterwards every single time I'm screaming into the mic. And I want to scream louder. I don't want to soften that. But I, I do want to even provide some context. If you haven't been around baptisms at Collective Church, we celebrate we get loud. And so, children, what do you have in your hands? Yes. So I'm expecting to hear those plus some screaming, Beckett. <laughs> some, we, we are incredibly excited. Or we are excited about this step, and we believe that heaven's rejoicing. Um, again, so let me, just, let me just do some math with you. We did baptisms less than a month ago. We had one planned that I found out that, that week. We had one spontaneous. Last Sunday, we had five. And this Sunday, we have four. <laughs> Ten people taking the step. What a beautiful thing. What an incredible thing. I also do want you to know that the tank is going to remain here and the prayer team will be up afterwards. So worship team, you can go, you can go sit down and prepare to get rowdy. Jessica, do you want to come up first? Okay, so what are you sorry for? You're good. And maybe I'll get I'll get Pam and Kevin's co group just to just to come up. Do you, do you want to just share? Why do you want to get baptized today? Okay, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm pretty new to um, Collective. Sorry, I almost said Redemption. <laughs> um, well, uh, like many others, I grew up in the church in like a Christian family. But, um, sorry. You don't have to apologize. You're good. I believed in God. Though I knew who God was, he wasn't the Lord of my life. I lived a life full of unrepented sin, just a life towards my own personal satisfaction. Um, it wasn't until a year and a half ago I truly committed my life towards Jesus Christ. My faith was a result of a very despondent, uh, difficult period of my life. And, uh, sorry, in that moment, with no other place to turn, I fell into Christ and by his grace, he came to my relief. Christ has completely taken my heart since then, and I fall for him more and more each day. Amen. Yes. Yes. We, we are so proud of you. We're so proud of you. Okay. Pam and Kevin's co-group. Get out of your seats. Take, take your time. Okay, so what we do at Collective is we baptize people and then we lay our hands on them and pray for them. And especially if they're in our co-group, we surround them with the co-group and, and lay hands. So um, maybe I'll just use the mic so that you can. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. What a profound moment. We are so proud and we celebrate with you. On that note, have you decided to make Jesus Christ the absolute Lord of your life? I have.
why don't you just stand right here for one second, come over here, and then co-group, if you just gather around, which one of you is praying, or both? Okay, gather around, you can put, lay your hands on Jessica. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for Jessica to come up here and take the bold step to say, I am a daughter of yours. And we just pray a blessing and protection over her with the weeks to follow because we've talked about so much this morning how Satan doesn't like us proclaiming you and Lord of our lives. So, Father God, we just pray a blessing upon her. We give thanks for her obedience to come and do this, to show her inward change, to probably declare, to say, I'm a daughter of God. So we lift her up not just as his brothers and sisters, but a family of believers around her that will be be with her to support her and strengthen her. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 So uh, your co-group might want to just stay put for a bit. (laughs) Is Jazz downstairs? Yeah, grab your towel. First or second? I'll go second. Yeah. Say less. Yeah. Introduce yourself. And uh, my name's Callum. Um, why do you want to get baptized today? Uh, well, I got baptized as a kid. Um, I don't really remember it at all, actually, but I, what you said earlier kind of resonated with me, and then from then on, like, everything went blank in my head, and that's all I was thinking about. <laughs> so, like... Just, I'm just here to declare that Jesus is king, and um, I want to accept him as my Lord and Savior where I get to make the decision. I'm glad I got baptized as a kid, but I want to make this decision for myself and declare it in front of all of you today. So. Woo! Good job. Yes, it's I know you said her brother, but we have to ask anyways. I know. <laughs> have you made a decision that Jesus is Lord in your life and everything and all things? I have. It is our great privilege to baptize you, not only in the name of the God, the Father, but the Holy Spirit. Okay, co-group, gather around. All right. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for today. We thank you for hearts and heart postures. And Lord, we just lift up Callum in this moment. And Lord, we thank you so much for his obedience, Lord. We thank you for this step that he's taken. And we ask that you would bless him so richly. Lord, may he... Just continue to shine his light, and Father God, we, from spending time with him in co-group, Lord, we know how he speaks into lives of others and does his best to to live and lead by example and is willing to speak into others, and Father God, we just give you so much thanks for his heart and his choice today. Again, protect him and bless him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Hey, Jazz, do you share why you want to be baptized today? Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Jazz. Um, I was at Collective Church um, a, m- a month ago or s- I don't know how long ago I left, but I went back home and, um, yeah, Jesus has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. Um, I did get baptized when I was younger and... Um, I did experience Jesus um, through my life, and then I kind of fell short 
And I think around COVID, I came back to Jesus. And time and time again, he showed up for me. And anytime I fell apart from him, I could, I could tell. He wasn't there, and I was struggling in my sin and just being a human. And every time I came back to him, he showed me his love, his grace for me, and um, even coming to Collective back in November and to now, I've been shown more and more of him through Tyler, through everyone at Collective, through my co-group, and I felt this feeling in my heart today that I needed to give my life to Jesus and give it to him through me and my beliefs and not just being baptized by my parents, which I do love that they did that for me, but today I'm declaring Jesus as my Lord and Savior, and he will always be forever. Um, I just want to, to say that I'm particularly, I get emotional about all of them, but I absolutely love and adore Jazz. She has the sweetest heart for people. We've had conversations after driving her home after co-group, and um, she is just the sweetest soul on fire for Jesus. And, and I said to her that this morning, and I don't know how, but I'm like, I knew. I knew when you walked on the door, it was like, I knew this was going to happen for you today. And I am beyond ecstatic and I love you. <laughs> All right. With that, as you've already said, but we need to re-ask, Jazz, are you dedicating your Lord your your life to the Lord and making him absolute Lord over every component of your life? Yes I am. Awesome. With that, it's our privilege. We're going to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, co-group, gather around. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for Jazz to take this step. She came here this morning, and she wasn't sure whether to be baptized or not, and I told her, if you're ready, do it. If you hear the Holy Spirit say, not now, then wait. And she heard God say, today. So, Father God, we thank you, thankful for her obedience to follow your nudging, your prompting, for her to be here today. We lift her up in prayers. We lift her up in love. And we're so thankful for her. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Asheen, come on up here. And then Connor and Sharice, co-group, come on up. Connor was like, Sharice just stepped out. I'm like, we'll wait. We'll wait. Eliana. Hey, Ashim, would you, would you share why you want to be baptized today? Yeah, so my name's Ashim. I've been going here since January, and I was not raised a Christian, but a little over a year ago, I found Christ, and ever since, I felt called to get baptized, but it was only last Sunday when I saw the baptisms happen here that I just felt like I needed to, sorry. No, it's not you. <laughs> that I needed to get baptized, so I thought and prayed about it very hard, and now here I am to declare Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Do you want to do it? 
Yeah, you do. <laughs> yes. I was ready because I was thinking you have weight that's distributed. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> okay, uh, Ashin, are you deciding today that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? I do. I do. <laughs> well, it is our pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, co group, gather around. Okay. Uh, Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this exciting moment that Ashin has decided to get baptized and make you his Lord and Savior. Got to pray over Ashin that going forward, that he would have a heart like David that he would usher in the kingdom of heaven, dancing in the streets, unashamed and with much joy, Lord. And I pray that you would also make his faith like Daniel, that he would stand strong in any situation that he's in, Lord. That he would, that he would cast his gaze upon you, Lord. And God, I uh, just want to pray some scripture over him as well um, to encourage him to live by the Spirit and keep in step with the Spirit, knowing that he's doing so by the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God, I pray all these things in Jesus' name and pray that you protect him, strengthen him, and give him joy as he walks with you, Lord, all the days of his life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I don't want to belabor the point, but uh, this tank's still full. Anyone <laughs> wants to get in there? If, uh, if you decide through the week that you want to get baptized and we need to pull the tank out again, let someone on the team know. But we're proud of every single person who made the decision to follow Jesus or declare that they follow Jesus. What a gift it is to celebrate. Also, I want to draw your attention to Last Sunday and this Sunday, every single person that got baptized is part of a co-group. This is essential in the life of collective. This is where we do life together. We actually navigate life's challenges, where we, where we soften areas of our heart that maybe can become hardened, where we live out this faith with other people that we don't have to pretend like we have it all sorted out. It's really important not just to view church that we do as Sunday, but Sunday as a catalytic of ascending into homes, into community. Uh, I want to call up James to, to give an opportunity to give. Amen. Amen. What a powerful day today is. What a powerful day yes, or last week was. Um, and when I look at your generosity, this is the exact impact that your generosity has today. It has direct impact on people's lives, right? Where they have a outward declaration of an inward change. So I would encourage everyone today to continue that investment, continue to give um, where we can see more lives changed, we can see more impact with the people around us, the people that we care deepest about. Right, So I would say after service, go to the info table, and there you can give cash credit check. Um, as well, throughout the week, you can give online at collectivechurch.ca slash give. Um, also, if you're interested in setting up reoccurring giving, talk to the person at the info table. They will happily walk you through the steps. I can tell you it's a step or two. It's not complicated in a good way. Um, so before Pastor Tyler comes back up, 
I will pray. Um, yeah. Uh, Father, today, today part of our sermon was about what is in our hearts. What area in our hearts is hardened. So I pray, Lord, that you show us those areas. That you bring to light the places in our hearts that are hardened. That maybe have turned away from you a little bit. Or maybe that we've normalized or just become normal for things that just they are what they are. Lord, I pray that you... You convict us, that you challenge us, and that you continue to pursue us as we break down some of these areas in our heart that have hardened over time, Lord, that, um, yeah, that you make your presence known, and uh, we feel you this week as we step through some of these areas of our heart, Lord. And I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 How good is God? Ten people in the span of a month. I'm just, I'm just so grateful that every single one of those people we have the opportunity to not just celebrate but walk with. What a beautiful reminder. I want to invite you to stand up. I know. It does, that does remind me as... We were talking with Ava and Parker about baptism, and I was asking, uh, and I was saying to Ava, you know, what does it mean to get baptized? And she said, baptism is about submitting your life to Jesus. And I was like, yep, pretty beautiful reminder. I want to just remind us as a church that we are not just a church when we gather together for moments like this that these are important and they are valuable and they remind us of why we do what we do, but we're the church every single time we step out and go into all of the places that we find ourselves in. At Collective, we don't want to just build a crowd of people that look at other people making a difference. We want all of us to use our gifts and to contribute to what's happening. And so if after the service you want to get more involved, if you're stirred by what's happening at Collective, you can join Lee and I in the office just around the corner. You'll see a 